I was gonna sit down and have this conversation really quickly while I did my makeup, but all those girlies out there that can talk and put their makeup on at the same time, I'm not one of them, okay? Let's talk about raising kids in an anxious generation for a second, okay? Brian read a book called The Anxious Generation a few months ago. You know how Brian reads to give me the cliff notes, whether I want it or not. So, I didn't really read the book, but y'all know I read the book. <laughs> Um, it made me want to share a bit about how I approach subject matter like this. I'm looking for my notes on my phone. Subject matter like this in a very real and everyday way. I feel like how we approach certain things really shapes uh, the way we do homeschool and life in general. Um, let me know if you guys feel that same way. But I was looking up, you know, trying to do a little bit of youtube university research about anxiety and kids and that type of thing um and i got a lot of parenting anxious kids helping kids with their anxieties type of deal and it makes me wonder um at the core like do we have anxious kids or are they just having to survive in an anxious and anxiety inducing world there is far more content on curriculum I know that for sure and I get why um, but there's more content on curriculum than there is addressing anxieties in the everyday and to me that's the trap um, I am NOT a child psychologist uh, but I do feel like I am able to move with common senses um, and to lead my kids in love and any wisdom um, that I've been given so I have this list of things that I keep that I thought I would share. Um, but they're things that I focus on in raising my kids. They're things that I feel like help them to thrive. Well, that's the goal is to help them thrive in an anxious generation. They're basically things in my heart of hearts that I feel like will help them as they navigate this anxious world in a healthy way if that makes any sense. So I have the list here and I was just going to read them off to you, but over time, whether it be here on this channel or in our friends club um, or on Instagram, I just want to be able to kind of have somewhat of a documentation, like an open conversation about handling raising kids in an anxious world and what that looks like in real life in everyday life um it's something i'm always like considering and thinking about to myself so i thought i would open up some of these conversations to you guys and see how you think or feel about them it's not the goal is not to approach it where somebody is right or wrong the goal is just simply to live and to learn like to try different things and see um what is working and what is not working um, that's really the goal around here. So I'm going to share the things that I have listed, um, in my, I guess it's my little parenting folder, just things that are always on my heart and my mind and things that I want to keep at the forefront of my mind to help me, um, as I navigate raising kids and continuing to grow myself. You know what I mean? They just kind of keep me grounded. They help me to remember like, this is my goal. This is these are the things that I'm focusing on and these are the things that I am trying to implement in order to help. And sometimes I feel like you just have a leading to do a certain thing without completely understanding why in the beginning and the why like reveals itself over time based on the fruit that shows up if it's working or not if that makes any sense. So first I have am I are you seeing up my nose right now? Ugh. It's just that the camera is so heavy and I really need to set up my tripod, but I'm not going to do that right now. So anyway, so I'm just going to tell, oh, <laughs> so Savannah's going to hold it for me for a second. So 
this is the list I have. I feel so exposed right now. This is my little <laughs> mommy's keepers folder, but that's what we're doing. We're sharing as friends, right? So I have um, a healthy relationship with mistakes and weaknesses. And I feel like I'm not going to go into it completely in this video because we're going to move on with the rest of the day. But I'll explain why I brought this up this time around. So first, I have healthy relationships with mistakes and weaknesses. And then I have no social media. Um, another thing I have is limiting advertisements, ads. The next thing I have is strengthening the discipline of focus and then the discipline of confession and asking for help. So these are the one, two, three, four, five, six. Six things that over the years I have just kind of made a note of to try to keep at the forefront of my mind. Um, and the reason why this came up this time around is because we are heading out. Today we are doing cross country soccer and mainly this I really try to keep at the forefront that this helps to strengthen the discipline of focus okay I just feel like um Cameron hates cross country I'll take it now thank you honey <laughs> so that all of that to say that I feel like this is a good example of what that goal looks like in real life um Cameron does not like cross country at all. However, in making a decision as his parents, ultimately we decided that this would be something that he could involve himself in that would help to strengthen the discipline of focus for him. And I don't want to go, I guess this is not where I'm going to go into the details of why I feel so strongly about that, about strengthening the discipline of focus. But this is a real life example of something that I have chosen, that we have chosen, that ultimately fulfills that goal of disciplining, um, strengthening the discipline of focus. So... I don't know if I want to talk more about what I mean by the discipline of focus somewhere around here or probably, actually, I feel like our friends club space is going to be perfect. <laughs> I have just been racking up all the things lately. I told y'all I need a space where I can talk about homeschool freely um, without having to consider whether or not something is right or wrong. As a matter of fact, I feel like the more I embrace the things that I do wrong, the better it is um, because we learn from those things uh, and they give us a good gauge um, of how to move forward based on what we've tried and failed at and tried and succeeded at. So anyway, yes, I'm very excited about our space and... Um, Right now, I am just tossing all of the things that I've been wanting to get out and say and do and document in our homeschool days. Basically, like, our Friends Club is pretty much going to be my homeschool scrapbook, okay? This is going to be my digital homeschool scrapbook. All of these things, all of the spaces that we share in are a part of our digital scrapbook. And I feel like this will be a good little addition, like a confession type of space. Anyway... That's what I wanted to say. Um, so we've got a day of cross country and soccer. And these two things are a great, a great way, a great example of how we are working on strengthening the discipline of focus in our everyday. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> so let us go. Up all night um, editing. Mom fit. T-shirt. Some jeans. I'll put on my Crocs. Discipline oftentimes comes easier when it's something you enjoy. It becomes all the more challenging when it involves something you don't. Cost country is the latter for him, giving him a unique opportunity to manufacture training in discipline, a discipline of focus. Uh, we keep that goal in mind throughout the season. It's like challenge after challenge working a muscle in order to build something beautiful. Focus in an incredibly distracting world. Focus that I believe will help him in establishing a practice of peace in an anxious generation.
And that's a piece of what this work looks like in real life. Trying to teach my kids to practice peace and find focus. and now we're heading to soccer. We came up and picked up the girl. Daddy. <laughs> came and picked up the girl. Soccer time. Let's go. Thank you. 